After years of high ratings and wild popularity, it seemed like everyone loved Friends, except Emmy. They, have, they were on the air nine years before they finally won an Emmy for the show, which is unbelievable. Yeah, I never got the sense that the Emmys were the most important thing. The most important thing was them serving the audience. It's not about Emmys, obviously. It took so long for them to get them. It's getting a little bit of kudos now, but I think that's sort of a recognition for its entire 10 years rather than just one of the seasons. Lisa Kudrow won in, I believe, 1998 for supporting actress. The Academy really responded to Lisa Kudrow, and she did well at both the Emmys and the Golden Globes. Jennifer Aniston won in 2002 for uh, lead actress, so they did ultimately take home some trophies. You know, Hollywood's a money business. People forget this. and. Um, God, they're geniuses at, at making it. They've got the money, they've got the publicity, they've got the houses, they've got Brad Pitt. You know, what more did they need? Are you following me? When a successful TV show finally ends, you always hear two words. The first is goodbye. The second is reunion. I don't think it's very likely that they're going to get all six of the actors to sign on for a reunion show unless all of their careers go down the toilet. I would say the chance of the Friends having a reunion are about as great as the chance of me having my own show. Most of the women said no. I just don't want to do a reunion show. They said they thought it would cheapen what they had. They said there's no way that it could be as good as what the series was and so why not leave well enough alone. I think they all want to leave with the show on a high and they want to have people remember the characters as being young and beautiful and fresh. With the show ending, fans want to know what the cast members will be doing next. The six actors on Friends are all set for life. I mean, they've been getting a million dollars per episode and they're set. So everything is set, primed perfectly for these guys and gals right now. And I mean, statistically in Hollywood, someone's going to take a big dive. I think as long as they stay away from movies, they co-star with monkeys. I think they'll probably be okay. Jennifer Aniston seems to have been playing her cards, I think, a little bit more smartly in that regard, trying to do more offbeat films. I think she has a good shot of carrying on a movie career if that's what she wants. Courtney Cox also getting into the producing end because she produces a home improvement show. Lisa Kudrow has said that she'd also like to spend more time with her family and uh, take a little vacation for a while and not necessarily worry so much about being on the set every day. David Schwimmer is actually getting a pretty good reputation as a TV comedy director and is directing a couple pilots possibly to make it on in the fall. I think he's the one who is trying to think outside of the box. Matthew Perry seems to be clearly taking his time to figure out what he's going to do next. Matt LeBlanc is going to be starring in Joey. Whenever the spinoff goes to Los Angeles, like Happy Days went to Los Angeles, Laverne and Shirley went to Los Angeles, it's always just the kiss of death. Is it always going to be second fiddle, second cousin, no poor relations? It smells like that now, but it, it, it all depends on the writing. One of the show's most remarkable accomplishments is that for 10 years, it was always funny. Everyone has their favorite friend's moment. That look or line that still makes you laugh out loud. Who could ever forget Miss Chenandler Bong, Dr. Drake Ramore, or the Geller Bowl? I would have to say my all-time favorite friends moment would be when Ross and Rachel first kissed. It was raining, and then he knocked on the door of Central Park, and she flung it open, and they kissed. There's one episode where... Joey and Chandler are in some kind of fight, and Joey ends up putting on all of Chandler's clothes. Uh, Edward. Joey tells everybody he's got the Porsche. The football episode. It's from the first season. It's when we were all in a blackout in, in New York City. Friends was a great show. Just how great becomes clearer every day. Friends may not literally be the most seen, but it certainly seems like it. The show's been, you know, creatively as good as, as it's ever been. We can pretty can wake up in the middle of the night and not be able to sleep, uh, and, you know, Chandler and Joey will be sitting in their apartment back in their easy chairs. I absolutely think that the synchronicity had a lot to do with, this, with the success of the show. Certainly the relationship that the cast had with each other and have. Years from now, when you look back at Friends, I, I think it will be remembered as as one of the best comedies of its generation. I think it's because people got TiVo, they were able to program it the first day, and then they lost the instructions and they couldn't ever program it again. I think Friends is really going to rank right up there with I Love Lucy, um, Cheers, MASH, 
Seinfeld, all of these shows that people watch in syndication every day for hours on end. So it's sort of like a part of your youth now. It's, it's like your old comic books and baseball cards. You're never going to get rid of it. So you're going to keep it with you and, and share it with your kids. I think friends will be missed by a lot of people, millions and millions of people all around the world. It's a good time to catch up and make sure you've seen every single one on the yeah. DVDs. They're always still there in syndication and reruns and DVDs, but you know, you can't count on them every week, you know, and they'll be a little bit sad. I think Joey said it best when Chandler moved out of the apartment. The he said it was an end of an era. Next, after 29 murders, a task force arrested him. You knew this killer would not stop. Fiber analysis convicted him. A very strong circumstantial case. 20 years later, will new evidence clear him? Wayne Williams didn't kill anybody. I'll sleep good. American Justice, next, only on A&E.